Hey, what's up guys? It's Azai here. So today I've got a really interesting potential world record um, gameplay video where I basically made this Moogie setup that is as fast as possible. Uh, I put all the speed I could on it. Uh, I'll put a picture of it on the screen if I have one, but basically it's just, you'll see right here how fast it can go. Um, it's mainly from the pilot skills, but also the drone, the modules I have on there, everything is just for boosting speed. And I was able to get 18 beacons uh, this game. Now I went, I searched around, I looked around everywhere I could, and I found uh, one guy had a, a game where they had more beacons than me. It was, I believe, 23 beacons, but in that game they lost. So I'm going to, for now, claim the world record for uh, most, most beacons in a victorious game. And if anybody has uh, some proof that contests that, if you got 19 beacons or more and you also won, then uh, yeah, I guess you now have the world record because I don't, I've not been able to find a game where somebody's gotten more beacons than this. This is just ridiculous. So um, I was lucky kind of with this map here in general. This map is, is pretty good for cycling around and running beacons just because uh, it's not like a super linear map, like Carrier would be really, really bad for this. But this map will, is really good because you see here, like I can, you know, grab these two beacons at the same time and then go all the way back and take the beacons that the beacon that's over on that little hill. Um, there's a lot of times where I come really, really close to death, but then I save myself with my mothership. So I recommend you use a defensive mothership like Paladin um, if you're if you're trying to go for a world record like this. Uh, also, the reason that I use a Moogie rather than something like a Lynx. Uh, even though that the Amugi is only fast in its ability and just kind of like not as fast, I mean still pretty fast on the ground, but not as fast as like a Lynx, uh, is because whenever you're on e uneven terrain with like a Lynx or with any regular walking or running or wheeling robot, the issue is that you can like bounce up on hills and stuff and it will really slow you down because every time you fall you have to do the falling animation and uh you know it just really slows you uh but when you are using a flying robot like a mugi you can just kind of i mean you don't have to worry about that uh, actually if you can find like slopes or if there's an ocho kochi and they can bounce you up or something like that well you know that's that's just uh, how it'll go uh you'll be able to just like go flying uh and it will actually help you so uh, that's that's why I ch chose to use this. Another another reason is the portals. You can uh, you will see me do it a couple times. Uh, you don't usually have to do it on here. This is what I'm showing, like the uneven terrain. If you run into uneven terrain, you can just fly up more. Unfortunately, uh, people with the the anti stealth quantum radar or something, they can screw you up pretty bad, which sucks. But that is why I've got I'm, I'm you know constantly healing myself, and I've got the um, the mothership. And here you're gonna see me use the portal this is like basically i can just go back here and grab more beacons using this portal which again that's that's just like a really helpful thing to maximize my beacon getting uh so yeah this is why i'm able to get like so many beacons in this game uh, and these two beacons are really crucial because usually whenever one team flips them or flips one of them they usually flip the other one too so uh, if i come over to this area i'm basically guaranteed two but unfortunately here is where i die just barely i almost was going to get away from the scorpion so i have to switch to the lynx and the lynx uh, again it's not as good but it is also very fast so i am able to do a bit more beacon capping here but i definitely got the vast majority of them with that imugi i was just absolutely beacon snatching just snatching everything uh now here we are with the teammate, and that scorpion is going to come back here, but this time I'm going to be ready for him. So here he is, he's teleporting, he's trying to take out my, my teammate, and uh, I'm going to execute him really quick, like this, or I don't know if I execute him, but whatever, he's dead now, so it doesn't matter. And uh, get this beacon and, sit and uh, keep going. Now uh, I want to rotate over and grab the other beacon that they currently have. Now we have the advantage, but there's a titan here, and I'm going to fight him a little, but eventually I just kind of notice like it's kind of pointless to try to fight him uh especially like this guy he's got the anti-stealth this was this was the guy shooting me when i was in my movie i can kind of try to strafe around here but whenever he reloads he's just gonna permanently have quantum sensor this guy's gonna hurt me with his his thing so i'm just like no i'm out of here i'm out of here goodbye and i'm going to go take that beacon i don't want to fight you I, I don't want anything to do with you guys uh so we come grab this although i don't believe i've got much life left in me uh, i'm really really low and these two titans keep targeting me 
Uh, now I'm being slowed down with this gravity amplifier. Everything, everything's going real badly, but I'm still trying to get beacons. So I'm gonna see if I can go run past these titans and grab their home beacon, but no, don't, I don't wanna do that because the other guy, he's, he's still threatening me with that quantum radar. But here, there is a Indra who's being floated above this beacon, so he actually can't hold it down. So I want to come over here and steal it. And now here's another beacon being stolen. Again, it's like this, this right here, this pair of two beacons that are really close to each other. This is going to make it real easy. I think that this world record, though, will be really easy to break when they come out with that new map, where it has like three beacons that are really close to each other in the center. And you could just kind of like ring around the rosy taking them. But yeah, here we go. We've got this beacon and we're gonna go uh, and grab some more. Though this angler, he, he doesn't want me to, and actually, I don't even really want to fight him. I just want beacons, so you know what? Goodbye. You know, I'm just running away from you. You can, if you wanna chase me around, you can, but I'm a lot faster than you. So I'm gonna go and grab this beacon over here as well, because somebody flipped it while I was gone. And now, look again, we're still, we're still running around, still going for our beacons. I didn't think that I lived this long in the links. I do believe I'll eventually die and pull out my rook, but here's just our neutral beacon just sitting here. Why, why don't I just come grab that? That's, that's like it was made for me, right? So we're grabbing this, this beacon here, and now there's another one over there. I don't know if I can get to it in time, but I'm gonna try. No, I'm not able to, but uh, at least I can help my teammate out a little bit by fighting this guy. Oh, and these guys are now both using their, their phase shift, so I thought I could grab it, but unfortunately, this guy was holding the beacon. And now I'm going to finally go into my Rook and only maybe get like one more beacon before the game ends. This is a really close game. Uh, me running around capturing beacons may have been very, very helpful in terms of, you know, actually winning the game. Because as you can see, they actually are beating us on the beacon bar right now but I keep just going down and snatching all of these beacons. See, they are trying to flip it back so that they can have a four cap, and I'm going to come and take this one to prevent that, and we continue to hold our beacon advantage, so we keep draining them. Um, and as soon as this guy dies, I can also maybe go over and take this beacon too. <laughs> Just absolutely beacon fest here. Now I want to go and get one more, that one to the left over there. And I think that this is basically going to be the last one that we can get because uh, they're making out now. There's only two of them left. So come on, let's go grab that. But oh, my big fat rook, he's so slow, he can't get to it. And I don't want to use the ability to try to fly to it because it's too close. I would end up overshooting. So I'm just gonna kind of stumble my way over in this big fat rook to my final beacon beacon number 18 and uh, kill this guy or just try to get him not not to um, contest it and now that is it we mech them we have all the beacons and this is my 18 beacon world record game uh, if you guys have a contesting game you guys got 19 beacons 20 beacons i'd love to see it uh, i'll link the video of the guy who got 23 beacons in the description below because he actually did upload it and uh, yeah thanks for watching you guys